Hello, my name is Paul Luxemburg, and I'm the principal tuba player of the Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra since 2001. I'm here today at the Hong Kong Cultural Center, where I'm performing a solo tuba recital uh, with some really fantastic colleagues of mine, um, Anne Lam, the organist, and Alison Lau, the Gu Jung player. The music that we're performing will be George Friedrich Handel, Ernest Bloch, Brendan Collins, Gabriel Vine, and Liu Tieshan and Mao Yuan. The first piece is the handle, which actually originally was written for the recorder. Now, there's a really great arrangement of this by uh, the German tuba player and conductor, Walter Hilgers. And I really wanted to use uh, the beautiful organ we have here at the Hong Kong Cultural Center and perform some music with it. And after rehearsing with Anne and just hearing how wonderful the blend of sound was with organ and tuba together, I wanted to showcase more pieces with tuba and organ, which leads to the next piece that we're gonna do, which is the prayer from Jewish life by Ernest Bloch. Uh, in this piece, Bloch, he um, is very influenced by uh, Jewish sounding melodies from his upbringing. Now, I enjoy playing this not only because of the fact that I'm also Jewish and also enjoy playing Jewish sounding melodies on my tuba, but this piece is perfect on a recital, and uh, the blend of sound with organ and tuba together, once again, is phenomenal. The tuba actually, I believe, sounds like a, uh, a baritone singer, and the organist sounds like a choir accompaniment. Another interesting thing about this piece is that its probably greatest influence was that not only has it become a staple of the standard cello repertoire, but it also became uh, the progenitor of, um, of the Max Janowski musical setting for the Jewish prayer, Avinu Malkenu, which in Hebrew means our father, our king. And Max Janowski was a famous, uh, a well-known um, composer of Jewish liturgical music and a choir director. The following piece I'm gonna do is the first piece that was actually written for the tuba. Now this is the Brendan Collins Sonata. Brendan Collins is an Australian composer, he's a living Australian composer. This is a phenomenal piece that he wrote for my friend Steve Rosé, who's the tuba player in the Sydney Symphony. He wrote this for Steve in 2011. I heard it a few years after. I love the piece. The first movement has got two chorales, both at the beginning and at the end, and it's filled with lots of rhythmic, um, catchy passages that throughout the whole entire first movement. The second movement is almost this very, very short, funky style romp. And the ethereal third movement is a very beautiful, slow, reflective movement that almost has elements of, uh, sounds like it was influenced by Respighi possibly. It's, I think, one of the most beautiful uh, slow movements in the tuba repertoire. The next piece I'm gonna do is for solo tuba. Um, this is unaccompanied. It was actually written for me by my friend Gabriel Vine when we were together. Well, actually, we studied together in high school and we're from the same town. And Gabriel was studying at the, uh, finishing his doctorate in composition at the University of Chicago. And he wrote this for me uh, while I was a student at Juilliard. Uh, he had just finished his master's where he was doing uh, studying composition with Eric uh, Urbiner in Vienna, who was a student in the second Viennese school. And throughout this, Gabriel uses uh, quite a few um, jazz rhythms and he also uses a lot of uh, repetitive intervals in a non-tonal context. It's a really wonderful piece and I think it will become one of the staples of the uh, tuba repertoire. It's a fantastic contemporary piece, about four minutes long in two movements. The last piece that I'm going to do is a very special piece. It was arranged by Hong Kong born tuba player and composer Chi Sun Chan. Um, and this is called uh, Dance of the Yao Tribe. And the arrangement is for Gu Jung and tuba. This piece was written by Liu Tieshan and Mao Yuan. Uh, basically, it's inspired by the long drum dance, which is a form of traditional music of the Yao people of Southern China and South China. Uh, basically, Liu Tieshan, he was traveling in North Guangdong province around 1950, and he heard this piece, he was inspired to write this piece, and uh, Mao Yuan adapted it for Western uh, instruments, for basically Western orchestra. Normally it's played traditionally now on Chinese instruments, Chinese traditional instruments, but we're doing a, uh, 
uh, a wonderful combination of tuba and gujang, and the gujang is really become one of my favorite instruments. It's so wonderful. So uh, the last thing, a couple things I want to say is that I, I just want to thank the Hong Kong Philharmonic Management for making this possible. Uh, my wonderful colleagues, Ann Lam, Allison Lau, our recording engineer, and his team, uh, Roy Chung, and last but certainly not least, uh, this is summer 2022 that we're recording this, and uh, my mom passed away summer 2012, so this is the 10-year anniversary of her death, and uh, I dedicate this recital in loving memory of her. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Thank you. 